What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today man we're gonna be doing episode number two of me rating your guys' teams and stuff like that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I put up a tweet and you guys obviously respond with your teams and stuff like that. I give you guys suggestions and ratings and all sorts of fun stuff like that. The last episode of this, I asked you guys to get 200 likes on the video if you guys wanted to see the series continue, and you guys got 600. So, safe to say you guys really want this series to continue. If you guys do enjoy it and you do want to see it continue, be sure to hit that like button. Let's just try to hit 200 likes again, man. would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button, and let's get right into it. Before somebody like jumps at me in the comment section saying how I stole somebody else's idea, I explained this in the first episode. One, DBG is the one that suggested that I do this series on my channel. And two, I said again how I didn't want to do this because so many other people have done it already. However, you guys have showed a lot of interest in me doing it and said that you didn't care and wanted me to do it anyway. So that is why I'm doing it. So Captain America that's jumping at me in the comment section, sit down. It's okay. Enjoy the video. And uh, yeah. If you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. First up, we do have Kid Cuddy. Um, honestly, first thing I'm just going to say is put Draymond at that starting point guard position or that backup point guard position. That's all you need to do. The starting lineup is perfectly fine. Just put Draymond off the bench at point guard. Other than that, the team is perfectly fine. Save your MT, save your tokens, wait for the token update and stuff like that. And yeah, the rest of the team looking good. Next up, we do have Hall of Fame Boss Dave. Um, taking a look at your team right away after reading um, your kind of play style and whatnot. I really do like it. The only thing is, if you do like to run the pick and pop and pick and roll sort of game, um, you're going to need better bigs for that. So my suggestion would be, honestly, to slide Nicholas Batum down to the three. Get rid of Michael Beasley. Um, I honestly think Batum is just better than Beasley. Um, slide Rocco over to that three position because he is still a really good wing defender that's really glitchy with some steals. Um, put Eddie Curry at the four and then put a guy like Bull Bull at the five and pick him up. Uh, Bull Bull, Eddie Curry both set very good screens in this game and they're both very glitchy on both ends of the floor. So it'll kind of help you kind of cover both. You can definitely run a lot of like the cheesy like peekaboo screens with Walter Davis. With those two guys there, Rocco obviously and uh, Draymond playing good defense. The bench is looking pretty good. Bonga, Brandon Roy, I do like that combo as a backcourt. Um, front court, Phil Bailey, Rick Smith. That works too. Um, the only thing is, instead of Rick Smith, I would maybe look to pick up like Jack Sigma, um, a guy with a better release and can shoot the ball a little bit better. But uh, yeah, other than that though, I do really like your team. I'm going to give it a solid, probably like 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have Love Rip City. After, again, after looking after your play style and stuff like that and looking at your team, I do really like the starting five. I think the starting five works perfectly, especially for running a five out. I think you got a good balance of defense and offense. Really, the only weak spot defensively is Gilbert, but you have guys all over that can cover that. So the starting lineup is clean. The bench, get rid of Nate Archibald. Way too short. Not really the best kind of player for this. If anything, slide... Uh, slide Harden and Mullen down um, and then look to pick up a guy like Rudy Gay for the three. I think that'll kind of balance out the bench perfectly. Um, other than that though, Cousins and Embiid is a good front court, especially if you are five outing. They both have very good releases and stuff like that to kind of kick the ball to. Um, outside of that though, the team looks pretty good with your MT though. Like I said, I would look to pick up a guy like Rudy Gay for that backup three, slide everybody over and then easily the team's like a nine out of 10. I'm going to give you a nine because you got my man Kobe and uh, yeah, again, shout out to you for that grind. Next up, we have Jay Naylor 7. Um, honestly, right away, like I said, starting lineup is looking very clean. You like to play ISO 5 out with Harden. Completely respect that. Starting 5 looking good. The bench, as much as this pains me to say, because you know I love my guy, Curry needs to go. Gilbert, or, or having a backcourt of Gilbert and Dominique Wilkins is very solid. Having Kiki there at the 3 is very good. At that four position, though, um, honestly, I think the best in the run would be a guy like that Pink Diamond Jeff Green that did just drop. I think that would be a perfect balance of a bench of everybody being able to switch for the most part. Jack Sigma, a very good big man that could shoot the ball. So, yeah, honestly, the only thing I would say is to boot Curry and put in a guy like um, uh, Jeff Green. And then your bench is good. Your starting lineup is good. Easily, again, a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have my boy Tyler Castillo taking a look again at your play style and stuff like that. You're asking, should I buy something now or wait for a market deflation? Honestly, your team is very solid at the moment. Like, I would honestly wait just because of the token market update coming soon. And this week, there's going to be a lot of market crashes coming due to, like, the super packs that are going to be dropping and all sorts of stuff like that. So... 
Um, honestly, your team is fine. Taking a look at it, like I said, is a nice, like, not like budget style team, but you know what I mean, like a, you know, lower kind of rated team. Uh, team definitely looks good. Only thing I would really recommend is switching Eddie Curry and Bol Bol. Bol Bol is better at the four, or I mean, at the five, in my opinion, uh, just because he can kind of outrun a lot of centers. Even though there's a lot of centers that are glitchy in this game, I do like Bol Bol more at the five. Outside of that, though, your bench is looking pretty good. Like I said, um, really glitchy. You got good defenders there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this team an eight out of ten. Next up, we have 11 Elijah 23. Taking a look at your team, man, and what you're asking for. I definitely like the starting five. I think the starting five is pretty good. If you guys are watching this video and you guys don't know about this Dennis Scott, he is clean as all hell. I'm telling you guys, he's actually insane. So I do like that starting five. Defensively, it looks very clean. The bench, you're looking for a better back, a point guard. Honestly, the way I see this, you can go one of two ways here. Um, one, you can go with Draymond, put Draymond there, and then run Cam and Batum and all of them. Or you can go with a guy, or you can put Draymond there, but then also pick up a guy like Dwayne Wade for the two, and then obviously choose between Cam and Reddish or Batum of who you want at the three. Kind of gives you more of a balanced offense. It kind of gives you more of a uh, peekaboo kind of guy to run with like a guy like Wade. Um, other than that, though, the team looks pretty good. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I would go with the Draymond and Wade route and probably run Batum there um, as kind of like a cone in the corner. Uh, other than that, though, the team definitely looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10. Next up, we have my boy Arda. Again, after reading what you're kind of asking for and stuff like that, you picked up Draymond for the bench, which I do like. Um, you're looking for a starting uh two and a three um honestly if i don't know what you're doing with the whole beasley thing i do recommend getting rid of beasley and rj though they're kind of they're not like outdated but like i don't know i just would recommend kind of getting away from them at this point um in the starting five though next to magic again a guy like Dwayne wade would be perfect kind of have magic kind of carry the load on the defensive end and then have wade kind of carry on the offensive end at the three position i would recommend picking up lamar odom you really can't go wrong there lamar odom is absolutely insane um, for the bench, I would really recommend, um, even if you wanted to slide Brandon Roy to the bench over RJ, I would recommend doing that. And then at that backup three position, going with either Michael Porter Jr. or going with Jeff Green. Two brand new cards that just came out that are really solid. Other than that, though, your team looks really solid. Definitely a 9.5 out of 10. Next up, we have Dallas Smith. First of all, shout out to my fellow Ginger out there. I appreciate you, my guy. But after reading all of that and stuff like that, I, I kind of had to sit here for a minute and kind of plan out what I wanted to do in my head of what to do with the squad now I, you know it took a minute but i think i figured out what would work best for you honestly so after going over everything i think you rocking with a starting lineup of lebron kobe granger thorough bailey and then rocking that hakeem in the starting five would be your best bet for the starters off the bench um i do recommend obviously you're gonna get gilbert so i would um recommend putting him there so you would have gilbert chris mullen um and then you can rock a guy like cameron reddish um and what was I up? Uh, damn it. I forgot what I was doing, man. I had it all planned out. I had I was so happy because I had it all down. So your bench would be Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert, Cam, Mullen, Eddie Curry, and then a guy like either Bamba or no, I like, I like. Your backup four would be Jeff Green and then Eddie Curry. So there you go. So again, the starting lineup, LeBron, Kobe, Granger, Thurl, Hakeem, Bench, Gilbert, Mullen, Cam. Uh, Jeff Green and then Eddie Curry. There you go. Easily nine out of ten again because you, you're doing that grind for Kobe. Next up, we have I am D Wang. First things first, get rid of Jared Dudley, get rid of JaVale McGee. Um, outside of that, you do have a good balance of cards all around. Um, I do recommend getting rid of Kevin Love too at the same time, just to kind of actually build like a general, you know, better team. Um, outside of that, though. Um, the team looks kind of, you know, at, like good, you know, as far as other players go. So again, get rid of Jared Dudley, get rid of Kevin Love, get rid of JaVale McGee. Um, honestly, in the starting five, again, I would pick up a guy like Jeff Green. Jeff Green, I, I'm going to say that a lot in this video because Jeff Green is one of the best budget cards in this game. So I do recommend picking him up for the center position. Again, looking at a guy like Dino is still a very solid option. Mo Bamba is a very cheap option. Um, and then same thing for the bench. Just get one of those. Um, outside of that, though, the team looks pretty good. I'm going to probably give it like a 7 out of 10, though. Um, just look to keep improving the team. Next up, we have Harshman. Um, honestly, first of all, first thing I recommend is getting some contracts on your players because it's kind of important. But uh, all jokes aside, um, I wouldn't recommend getting rid of Mullen. Actually, what I would do is actually recommend replacing Walter Davis with Kobe. Putting Mullen on the bench and then your starting five would be Gilbert, Kobe, Thurl, Bobo, and Hakeem. Um, and then off your bench, 
you running a lineup of Rose, Mullen, Elliott, Pascal, and um, DeMarcus Cousins isn't that bad. I would honestly recommend just sticking with that for now. Um, saving your MT and just kind of waiting for the market crash and then looking to pick up probably a better backup uh, three. Um, honestly, if you really wanted to replace Sean Elliott with a guy like Jeff Green, Rudy Gay, I think those are two better options right there. But again, I would just wait it out um, for the market to crash. Other than that, though, the team is very solid. Again, for doing the Kobe grind. Right now, I'm giving you an 8.5, but with Kobe on this team, it's easily a 9. All right, guys, we're actually back. This is actually like the next day. Um, I had to stop recording because you guys obviously know everything that was happening on Twitch and stuff last night. But I was trying to like pay attention to that. And also like I got food delivered and I kind of wanted to eat and then totally forgot that I actually had to keep recording this. So obviously this is the next day. I'm um, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Obviously say happy Mo or happy Mother's Day to your moms. And uh, yeah, let's get right back into it. First up, we have De La Rosa. Um, obviously, he says that he plays five out in ISO ball. Um, main thing, obviously, from looking at your team, your team is very solid already. Um, like especially with your play style and whatnot, the team works really well with your MT amount. Though the only thing I would really recommend doing is actually getting um, Pink Diamond Wade if you can for the backup point guard position, running him with a guy like Batum in the backcourt with him, and then Jeff Green, um, two guys that can obviously switch on to basically anybody. I think that would be really perfect. Um, it kind of fits into the whole five out ISO ball thing. And then other than that though, your team is pretty good. Um, honestly, I'll give it an eight out of 10. You guys don't believe me about not putting in God squads. Like I'm gonna just scroll through here. You guys can see like, this is literally why I try. I'm trying to find teams that aren't God squads. Like literally, like this is why I look like in the last episode that all I was covering was God squads because you guys can see like literally everybody has full Opal teams. Like, okay, here we go. This is a good one. So now we have John A1 forever after just kind of reading in and looking into your team a little bit. Um, I definitely like the starters. Um, the whole pick and pop, pick and roll game definitely works with that starting five. It's a little bit taller, which definitely works out. Only thing I would really change off the bench, um, this Kawhi is cool, but I would really recommend getting rid of him and then putting a guy like Batum in that spot. I think that'll just kind of, it'll give you some extra MT. You said that you're on your way to Opal Pal. Opal Pal will be perfect at the four. Um, him and Bamba are a nice budget backcourt. Um, depending on your MT, the only thing I would really recommend doing is replacing Bamba with a guy like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Rick Smith, Jack Sigma, the guy from the spotlight Sims, or even getting a guy like Dino, two very good centers. That'll kind of help you spread the floor a little bit better. Bamba obviously is still very good. I'm just saying those are other solid options that I think would be a little bit better. Um, but outside of that though, the team is pretty good. Again, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Next up, we do have my boy Lucas. He likes to run a lot of pick and rolls and pick and pops along with the death by a thousand post hooks. You love to see it. Um, honestly, though, the team is looking pretty solid. I definitely like what you got rolling here. Um, only things I do really recommend doing is one, getting rid of Avery Bradley and kind of replacing him with a guy like Cameron Reddish. Um, a guy like Brandon Roy, even if you go and get that free Walter Davis from the Spotlight Sims, I think that will be a very solid option. Same thing in that starting five, though. I would really recommend sliding KD to the four um, and, and then either playing uh, Scalabrini at the three or getting rid of Scal and getting a guy like Rudy Gay or a guy like Jeff Green. Two very solid options there. Kind of fits more of the meta of this game. Um, and it'll kind of play a lot better with KD at the four. That's just like how I've experienced things in this game. Um, even if you wanted to slide, slide Cow instead of starting five at the four position and leave KD at the three, that would work. Um, but outside of that, though, the team is pretty good. Um, I know Magic, like you said, obviously Evo's up or um, Duo's up to an Opal. Starting five looks good. You can hide Curry with T Mac and KD, especially if you were to put a guy like uh, Jeff Green in that starting five. You can definitely hide Curry that way. Um, so I do like the starting five. I do like the bench as long as you add a guy like, like I said, like Wade, Brandon, Roy, Walter Davis, whoever it is in that backup two position. I think your team is perfect after that. Um, definitely going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we do have Tino Martinez. I'm um, taking a look at your team in right away. You got way too many point guards kind of rocking out there. Like John Wall at the two is not really all that good. Um, same thing with Lonzo at the two. Um, I would honestly choose your favorite between Lonzo and Winslow and then sell the other one first off. Um, taking a look at it though if you were to honestly in my opinion i would recommend to sell lonzo just because i don't like lonzo's jump shot i think it's just weird in this game and winslow is actually very solid defensively like really solid like i don't i mean he's one of those cars that you really can't blow by a lot um so i do recommend keeping him selling lonzo and then at that two position picking up a guy that would be like cameron reddish like i've talked about walter davis um in that two position would be really solid um 
Then again, same thing. I would recommend probably sliding Kiki into that starting five over Spencer Haywood, getting rid of Spencer Haywood, and getting Jeff Green for the bench. Um, same sort of stuff that I was talking about. Spencer Haywood is not really that good. He just can't really like shoot the ball all that well. He's more of a post player. Do not recommend using him at the three by any means. If you want to keep him, you can use him at the four and then slide like Isaac to the three or whatever you want to do. Um, and then same thing off the bench with John Wall playing the uh, backup too. It doesn't really work out that well. Um, I don't really like the whole dual combo thing like or dual point guard thing. If I ever run into that in Unlimited, I get really happy because I know it's about to be a free win. So I really suggest getting rid of John Wall or even getting rid of Draymond. I mean, I would definitely keep Draymond because he's insane in this game. Um, so getting rid of John Wall again for a guy like Cam, Walter Davis, whoever. Brandon Roy, just a good backup shooting guard. Even if you wanted to slide in Wade in one of those positions, it would definitely work out. Um, but outside of that, though, the rest of the team is pretty solid. You have two stretch bigs, which I do like. Um, Kiki, Jonathan Isaac, Karolinko, and then, like I said, a guy like Jeff Green will complete your wings very nicely. Um, and then just work on that shooting guard position, and then your team is fine. Um, honestly, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 right now. But with those upgrades, I'll give it like an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10. I'm actually going to have to cut this video a little bit shorter than I wanted to. Unfortunately, like I said, it is Mother's Day, so I actually have to go spend time with my family as well as a lot of you guys should be doing as well today. So again, I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys do want to see the series continue, man, be sure to hit that like button. Would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And again, if you guys want to get your teams rated, be sure to send them over to me on Twitter. Um, I'm going to kind of exclude God Squads next time. Like I'm going to specifically say, if you have a full team of Opals, don't even bother responding because I want to be able to cover a lot more of you guys without seeing non-stop full galaxy opal team so again thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah peace